Suppose it's on the internet. Anyone can research. Okay, but you know a lot of the, half of the world do not research a lot of things they heard or even seen before. So it's it's it, they like to hear it firsthand. You know what I'm saying? Would you agree with that, brother? I'd say that if people want to remain ignorant. That's their fault. Right. You don't have to enlighten them. We don't have right to. There, well, we have to. We have to. If we don't enlighten them, then 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 we have to deal with their stupidity and the and the bullshit that's going on. You understand what I'm saying? So it's best to educate people as much as possible. But they can educate themselves. They all have smartphones. They all have access to Google. But not 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 there's all of them. Smartphones, but there's not, not a lot of smart people using them. Thank you, brother. See, thank you for correcting that. Thank you for correcting that because a lot of people don't use what they well, what have. What makes you think if they can't use Google that they're gonna find this information on YouTube and actually? Because YouTube, what what happened is you'll find more people on YouTube than Google. That we could agree on because people like to watch videos. People like to watch. They Wait, like hold to. Hold on. It's easier on. than reading a book. It's easier. To, thank you, brother. See, my brother right here, his brain working ten miles an hour right now, while mine's working. Miles. While mine's working three miles an hour. <laughs> uh oh, my dog googling this information, y'all. Bro, a lot of people, more people on YouTube than Google. Bruh, a lot of people, more people, I guarantee you more people be on YouTube than they actually do research on Google. Because... You see, like, these videos, they get millions of views YouTube overnight. has one billion active users each month. Um, let me That's different you. users, not views active each users month. users each month, Google. Everybody. But it's all because they're looking up there. What the... What two the billion. Two active users on Google. On Google? So it's pretty close. But at the same time, it's not saying what they're looking up either. Yeah, but people could be looking uh, up cat videos on YouTube. Sweaters. <laughs> Goofy sweaters. sweaters for Christmas. Or cats and sweaters. Well, that's very true. You know, I, 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 you know, you know, thinking about that, you know, I take that back. Probably more people has used Google more than YouTube, right? But not for education. Not for educational purposes, right? That's I could sad. agree on that. Can know. you agree on that, brother? I could agree on that. All I'm saying is people look up cat videos on YouTube, not educational videos on YouTube. Right, but you but but you gotta understand there's all sort of people in this world, brother. Right? You you got you got people that wanna gain light and you got people that, 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 that wanna learn and you got people that doesn't wanna learn, right? Yeah. So you can't forget about the people that wanna learn, so you know, we gotta do it for the people that wanna learn. Yeah, but what makes you think we're uh, experienced enough? And educated enough to teach. It. What makes you think we not? Because I'm 22 years old and you can learn from a baby. So why can't we learn from a 22 year old brother? Actually, you can't learn uh, sociological anything or psychological anything from a baby. Not really. You could study a baby, but a baby's not going to be able to tell you anything. Subjects. But when, when I say a baby, a baby doesn't have to be one or two years old, man. Or, you know, an infant or, you know, five, six, seven. It's still a baby at that age, all, I would all say. All I'm saying is I don't have the experience. I've never been in um, a war situation to be able to speak on it because I feel like those guys on the ground and stuff, they have a different experience. We're civilians. So when you talk about the um, Osama bin Laden, you're talking about a perspective of an American citizen. Someone who's not been in the war, someone who's already sided the American side, which is generally democratic, so mm. anti-Marxist ideology, and then you're also speaking on behalf of somebody who wants America to win. For the most part, we want our side to win. So obviously, we're going to make the other side look bad. Oh, that brother real. God damn. Hey, John, get up here, man. This nigga just said some real shit. I might have to get out the truck for this one here, man. This is major. Hey, he just said something very... Well, that's every country. Yeah, it's every country, but that's I what I mean. But but that's the real... But can you admit that's the same situation with the religion system? I mean... Everybody the downside the other... Part, everybody talk bad about other religions? For the most part, but then you then you have that... Um, what you might call it? Um, that's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, what... John, what do you call those... Um, they go out and spread their religion. Um, Radicalists. No. no, 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 no. Um, fuck. Oh, missionaries. Missionaries, thank you. And a lot of missionaries, they pick up a lot on different religions. Their task is primarily to understand the religion in that area. So you do get some of that. Right. But all I'm saying is that in my perspective, speaking on war, I've never done anything outside of something civilian. 
Nice, nice. So that, I can't really. For, for my brother, my brother right here that been to war. Can you, can you, can you share a little bit of the experience and the, and a little bit of the situation, bro, with the people about, you know, how does it work as a, as a soldier? How does it work on your side? You, you do as you told. All right. Choice to decide to get in the conflict based on your own research and beliefs. That's real. But do you do you do you do you going blind? Right. That's my. That was gonna be my question. Do a lot of these guys know what the hell they fighting for? Probably not. Right. Well, a lot of people just go in saying they're fighting for their own family. Yeah. Fighting for their own future. You so think they that's don't a? Even care what the struggle is actually about. They just care about. Oh, I'm gonna get that GI Bill. I'm gonna get all these benefits. I'm gonna be better off once I get back. They don't care yeah. what's going on in the war. So, do you think is that a good state of mind for people to go into the military with, or do you think it's it's it's, it's bad? Really all about your own end game. Because regardless, the leaders in power are going to be the ones that are making the decisions, anyways. Right. And if you're only in it for the money and the honor, the glory, whatever the fuck, then obviously you don't give a shit about all that. So of course you're just going to go in there and be like, I just want to shoot some people, or I just want to make my money and get out, whatever. There right. are those who always want to know because we are uh, inquisitive. We're an inquisitive um, species, so I mean, naturally, you want to know what the fuck's going on. Word, that's real now. <laughs> but Man. it's like that military. It's like that in industry. Uh, when I worked at Amazon, it was a lot like that. Like you weren't in the know; you just did your shit and got out. Right. So a lot of these guys, you saying a lot of these guys don't even know what the fuck they're fighting for. And um, what's the reason they're fighting for? Which is understandable. I'm pretty sure a lot of people knows that. Now, my question, my other question is, do you think the the army that's around the world, I'm talking about for, for everywhere around the world, not just in the United States. Yeah. Do you think, military. do you yeah. think, how do you think we benefit from the army? How do you think the army is good for us? How do you think it's bad for us? Um, well, through history, the military has always advanced uh, technology and science. Most of what we have today is due to World War II and the Cold War. So that, obviously. Secondly, it helps with population uh, management because we have a tendency to overpopulate the world and war is just sort of a natural aggression and a release to our overpopulation. Hmm. So Now, do you, do, you think, um, <clears throat> do you think it's fair to the soldiers that's going to war? It was their choice. Unless you're drafted, of course, which you don't see much of that, but at least in America, it's more or less your choice. It's, it's, you do. There are some economical barriers and stuff. For instance, if you live in a family that's always been in the military, generally, you sort of go into the military too. So how much say do you have in that? Growing in a military family? Right. You know, that's more psychological than you're speaking. That's um, real. But... For the most of the United States, and this isn't considering any other country in the world because it's not the same, um, you have a choice. So whatever the fuck happens, for whatever reason, it's sort of your own at the end of the day. Right. So my, my final question is, do you think we should keep the military system going or should we should we get rid of it? Okay. So, so more or less, you're talking about... It's a conflict of like a utopian society sort of a thing. It's one that we don't have. Obviously, we have a shit ton of problems. Um, if we were, if our society was more utopian, then we wouldn't, we shouldn't have a need for a military. We might have. Sort when of like can a you break down the utopia system. words for us, brother? Utopian is just simply a picture of a perfect world, a perfect society where everything fits and you don't have problems. Do you, That's all that is. You know. Do you really believe that could happen, it's brother? Hard. I mean, in this world, in this in time this, of day, for us to have right a perfect now, world? Fuck no, right now. Um, but I think uh, 